Welcome back. The enduring appeal of major musical artists such as the Beatles, the Bee Gees and Neil Diamond has resulted in a growing phenomenon, the wonder of the tribute band. Now to talk to us about this, we're joined this morning by a stellar lineup of artists. Neil Diamond, a.k.a. James Sexton, Barry Gibb, real name Tony Kelly and Sir Paul McCartney, otherwise known as Joe Mullins. You're all very welcome Thanks to the really. show. Mm -hmm. Let's start with you, James. Why Neil Diamond? Well, why Neil Diamond? Um, I suppose over the years people had said to me in sing songs, you sound like Neil Diamond. Mm. So, like, like James, Tony, you weren't a Bee Gees fan to begin with. No, I'm a Beatle fan. The same thing really happened to me as well. I was asked to do a couple of weddings a couple of years ago, and uh, would I do um, a Bee Gees song? Yeah. You know, the bride and groom, they always asked for the first song, second song, to be the first, whatever it was. And at the time, I was thinking it was um, How Deep Was Your Love. Mm. Okay. And I went from there to maybe Static Night Fever. So we continued on. But after that, um, it and just no problem grew. with the false setup? No, no, there's no problem with the false setup. I didn't know I could do it, really. You know, as such, like, you, you can sing, you can scream high, but the sing, and yeah. at the same time, stay in, tune. stay in tune, is different as well. And uh, a lot of people say that, how do you do it all the time? But if you're doing uh, like a week of gigs or two weeks, it is, it is a bit strenuous. Okay, mm. let's take a listen. The boys. Yeah, you can oh, hit the notes, all right. You can hit the notes. I'm looking for my three-piece white suit, yeah. and I'm ready to go. <laughs> they never did wear a three-piece oh, no, white suit. No, that was that was John Travolta. That's yeah. right, that's right, okay. man. Oh, yeah. No, okay. that's that's but, someone people they say to us, you know, where's the white suits? Mm. And we do on the shows. We do wear white suits. We wear the black suits. We go through the year, but. Um, Bee Gees, as far as I know, they never wore white suits. They might have wore white trousers, maybe a white waistcoat mm. now and again, and a, you know, on the uh, satin shorts. The satin shorts, definitely. Yeah. Tell us about the her, though. The her. Yes, right. the it's her. quite spectacular. <laughs> there is real yeah. hair. Okay. Um, costs very, 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 mm. very, very expensive. Um, you know, it's just I had a. a you, did, you had it, did you? Yeah, I had a real, okay. real... That's uh, another kind of, story, I think. Another a wig, a previous wig was uh, a yeah. yeah. synthetic wig, but mm. uh, they just fall apart, but okay. uh, okay. it costs a few more. Yeah. The band are called Jive Talking. The band's called Jive Talking, and um, we are currently, um, we're doing a couple of gigs here in Dublin soon, and then we move, we're not moving, we're doing a couple in Bodrum, in Turkey, and then mm. okay. we're heading to the UK all next year. Okay. Uh, Joe, you're the baby of the bunch, and yet you're Sir Paul. Yeah, that's Where did the, you know, unlike uh, Tony and James, you actually grew up a fan of the Beatles. Yeah, that's a, it was more of a labour of love. And, well, I'm going to Bodrum now, I wish I was a Bee Gees fan the other day. <laughs> 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 you get the hair. I don't know, know what to get now. <laughs> so, uh, was it a tough choice between... Yeah, you know, practice a bit more to get that stuff. <sighs> so, so, what, in your opinion, is the appeal of tribute bands? 